A-Rod and Jessica Mendoza had this to say about Mike Fires, who, former Astro, now A, was one, it was what made the athletic report so uh, shocking is it was a current player confirming the details of the cheating in 2017 by the Astros to the athletics, Ken Rosenthal, et cetera. This was what she had to say on our buddy Wingo and Golick show today. I mean, I get it. If you're if you're with the Oakland A's and you're on another team, I mean, heck yeah, you better be telling your teammates, look, hey, heads up. If you hear some noises when you're pitching, like this is right. what's going right. on for sure. But to go public, yeah, that it didn't sit, sit well with me. And honestly, it made me sad for the sport that that's how this all got found out. I mean, this wasn't something that MLB naturally investigated or that even other teams complained about because they naturally heard about and then investigations happened. But it, it came from within. It was a player that was a part of it, that benefited from it during the regular season when he was a part of that team. And and that, when I first heard about it, it's just, it hits you like any teammate would, right? It's it's something that you don't do. I totally get telling your future teammates, helping them win, letting people know but to go public with it and call them out and start all of this, it's it's hard to swallow. Well, again, the person who started all of this was Beltron and whoever started cheating with Alex Cora. They started it. Word was already out. Everybody in baseball apparently knew. And Fires said something. Good for him. What if he was sitting in the clubhouse benefiting from it with wins and losses and a ring on his hand? But what if he thought the whole thing stunk? Because he as a pitcher would never want it to be used against him. He said it later on that he did it because young pitchers were getting lit up in the game. How many times do we say also in this day and age with the NFL hockey players, especially too, when they start beating each other up and doing stupid stuff with sticks sometimes when they lose control of, their, of the moment? Why don't the players police themselves? Why do they have to leave it up to the commissioner's office? Why do they have to leave it up to... The authorities of the game. Where are the unions in all of this? How many times do we say that, right? Fans will call up, you know, when somebody slides in late. Why do the players do this to themselves? Why don't they clean it up themselves? Well, Mike Fires is cleaning it up himself. Good for you. But, a- but after the fact, like do this while it was happening. Well, now that's a different story. That's a different story. Now, that would be particularly like If he had such courageous. a problem with this while it was going on, why didn't you put an end to it in 2017? Which is what? Call up a reporter. You have no idea what me and my teammates are doing. Now, that would be something that would be, I right. think, untenable in other locker rooms that he would go into. Is, is he going to give back his World Series ring? Pay back his bonus that he got for the playoffs? Why? Because he thinks it's ill-gotten? Right. Or he's... it. But, but he's not, okay with not, accepting all of that stuff, look, it's but tainted. now he wants to take it all down? No, here's the thing is that, yes, it is tainted. It is tainted because we don't know when it was used and how it did manifest itself. But again, speaking as somebody of a fan of a team that could be the most aggrieved party in the American League. Or your team also did it. In 2017, okay, there was no cheating when Verlander was throwing seeds and the Yankees couldn't hit it. And if the Astros were cheating in this manner, why didn't they give Keuchel in game one more room than just one two-run inning against Tanaka? So it's not foolproof. We don't know how much it was used. We don't know by whom it was used. And when they're, and when like Bregman is diving for a ball and makes an incredible defensive stop. There's nobody banging on a, on a trash can there. And when A.J. Hinch says, let's send Verlander out for the ninth inning, that's a superb old school manager pushing a button. Right there. I like it. And I'm not sitting here thinking, well, take the banner down. I can't sit here and say that. And I won't sit here and say that. Because I don't know. Because, man, I, I wish the Yankees had put up more runs on Verlander. They couldn't. He was untouchable. That had nothing to do with whatever they, what Cora and Beltron had cooked up. Yeah, that series, the home team won every game. 
Astros and the Astros, and the Astros were up in Yankee Stadium, and the bullpen blew Game Four. I thought that series yeah. was over in Game yep. Four because the Astros stormed out to a huge lead. And I have no idea what they were doing or what anybody else was doing. I'm just assuming that this had something to do with it. And I'd love to know the names of these people. But Fires isn't coming out and saying today, well, since I told everything to the Athletic, here are the other players. He's not doing that. I'm not blaming him. Like none of this would have gotten investigated if Mike Fires didn't give some sort of, here's my name on it not unnamed player quotes to Ken Rosenthal. Are we really blaming him for being blowing this whole thing up? Maybe this is something we can ask Tom Verducci coming up, but if you're fires, Oakland teammates, how do you feel about all this? Well, guess what? Um, that maybe in two years, something that you're doing is going to be out in a story because of this guy. Do it. But then, if you think, and you, and you believe that it's gamesmanship, then you don't think you did anything wrong. I have a big problem. I have a big problem with cheating. Big. Good for him. And don't cheat. Don't cheat because you have no idea if, you're, if your teammate is going to, if you will either grow a conscience one day. But like I said, or, if you don't think it's something. cheating, if you think it's how gamesmanship. Do you, how do you think it's not cheating? That I'm going into a stealing a spot. signs is as old as I'm baseball. Going into a spot, it's not this. How many times are we going to go over this? It's not the same thing as stealing a sign of going on second base and deciphering somebody's finger code by your own eyesight. It's not the same thing, Chris. By going into I mean, a room, we obviously that has been we just created, disagree. That has been created for the use of Major League Baseball and your own staff to decide whether to challenge something to use that television screen as a method of stealing a sign and then creating a real-time method of communicating it to the batter using sounds is beyond the pale. And for anybody who sits there and goes, this is gamesmanship, you've got a warped mind, man. With all due respect. Wow. I mean, all With right. all due respect that you're going to sit here and go, yep. you know what? This is, this is the way we should win games. You know what? This is the way I, 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 I'm going to win a game. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.